YouTube, what up, what up, what up? Gas Mask back up in the building with another video for y'all. Now, as usual, y'all already know how this go. Before we get started, I need y'all to like, share, comment down underneath, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way, every time I drop, y'all get notified. Secondly, do me a favor, go to my music page, Valley of the Kings, Kings with a Z on the end, Valley of the Kings, and check out my music page, bro, I'm a writer, I'm a rapper, I'm a producer, bro, I got fire, I got bangers, and it's all original music by me and my squad, and uh, yeah, man, that would mean a lot to me, man, I appreciate each and every one of y'all who sub to my channel and take the time to watch the videos and comment. I just like to um, go back and forth with the, you know what I mean, with, with my viewers, with my subs, and engage with me, man, so we can figure this type of shit out, man. You feel what I'm saying? So, I'm a, um, let's get right to this, man. I gotta, I'm gonna react to this video, man. This is a, this is a serious video right here. It ain't too much jokes, man. This is, this is some serious shit, man. And this video made me proud, man. This young brother stood tall. In the face of adversity where a lot of dudes get killed, you can tell this down south somewhere. These white boys look racist. I'm not a racist, you know what I'm saying? But we know how shit goes on in America. We know how this thing been colonized and how we've been treated, bro. Like, you know what I mean? It is what it is, bro. But this young brother facing three big white boys. And the one got a gun in his pocket, bro. And they try to make him back down. And my man stood tall. You feel what I'm saying? And I think we can all learn something from the way this brother just stood tall, man, in, 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 his, in his king shit, you know what I mean? And he, he already knew what time it was, you know what I'm saying? So without going too far, watch this joint real quick. Let's, let's check it out real quick. So you're gonna threaten black and white man. I guess so. I don't care if he's white, you're gonna talk like you talk. I don't talk. care I don't care about none of this shit. Yard. I don't care about none of this shit because I'm walking. Okay. Yeah, listen, 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 and I want to walk it. Walk it. Just walk. You walk this the hard. That's all I want to do. Walk. That's all I want to do. I'll shake your hand. I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it. Shake your fucking hand, man. Let's walk. It's all glue. I never, I never took Man, Keaton and Peep, white boy got the pistol in his back pocket and everything, you know what I mean? So this is an intimidation situation where they ganging up on the dude and all that shit. And my man's standing his ground, bro. That shit, you know what I mean? That's like salute to this young brother. Touch your dog. Okay. You know that. Okay. I never fucking touch your dog. Thank you for having the camera on. Thank you. Because that means a lot to me. No, I, I never went on your property. You know that. I did like this. Listen, I did like this. You still got to Try to steer or touch you? You never touched me. Did I ever touch you? No, you didn't touch me. Did I ever touch you? I don't know. If you want to know something, I won't touch you. You want to know why? Because I want to touch me, and I know that. You no, know, if I wanted to touch you, I would. Who's fucking working on my goddamn house? You act like I just want to touch you. At the end of the day, day, if you don't want to touch me, I don't want to touch you. You, I don't want to touch you. Why the fuck are we arguing? Why are you holding me up? I didn't say anything to you. Same reason why you yelling at me. Because I'm allowed to yell. The minute you yell at me, I yell back. I didn't I'm say a man. I'm not no fucking little boy. My man said, "Cause I'm allowed to yell. I'm a man. I ain't no little boy. Like." Hey, I come out and talk to you. You just pet my dog. Right. And everything, you know that. Everything and have good. I ever hurt your yeah. dog anytime I came over here? No, that's what I'm saying. But I did just leave jail, and I'm frustrated. I got feelings. Right. But I can't. You're and I'm allowed to express my feelings how right. you express yours. Right. You're you got your camera on still? You're probably. Oh, uh, you don't? You it sound like you should keep it on. Because I'm going to teach y'all something. I'm going to teach you. If I ever put my hands on anybody, I'll teach you something. Right. 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 And, and right there, 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 I got two mixed 
Bro, that was cold, bro. Hold up. Bro. I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet, bro. But that was just beautiful to see, man, because um, my man held his ground, but he held his composure. He didn't lose his cool. And he taught the white boys something. You know what I mean? He didn't try to get violent. He taught them something. You know what I mean? And I think this is a normal situation in a lot of places, especially down south, particularly down south, where white boys get away with a lot of wild shit. I mean, they get away with wild shit all over the country, but we already know how shit go down down south. And, uh, you know, we could clearly see this was a, an intimidation type of situation where they kind of surrounded him. One dude had the pistol in his pocket. And what did he accuse him of trespassing because he walked on the grass? You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, they was trying to antagonize the young brother. And the way he handled himself, man, was just, it was awesome to see that. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, he didn't let his anger get the best of him. He didn't lose his composure. What did he say? He said, bro, I'm a man. John Bird dude asked him, why is he yelling? He said, because I'm allowed to yell. If you yell at me, I'm going to yell back because I'm a man. I ain't no little boy. You feel what I'm saying? Then he said, like, bro. I mean, he basically said, I'm not a racist. He said, I got two white baby mamas and two mixed kids. You know what I'm saying? Then he asked the, 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 the white boy, do you live under God? He said, because I'm his son. I mean, whew, that was cold. You know what I'm saying? So obviously this is a young black king. He know who he is. He know what, what the deal is. He don't look at himself like some nigga. He, he's, he did say he just got out of prison. So he, he like, I got feelings. Bro, hold up, let, let's run that back one time. That, that shit was just the way he handled that shit. Just. Now, see, now, see the white boy try to step in his face. You know what I mean? He tried, he tried to accuse him of trespassing, and the, and the, and the young, and the young brother said he didn't trespass. And the white boy accused him of lying and tried to step in his face. So this is the aggression right here. He, you know what I mean? It's the intimidation factor. He trying to intimidate the young brother and the young brother standing his ground. And he told him, <clears throat> don't do that. You don't want that. Don't do that. So, so the white boy told him, you don't scare me. Again, the white boy towering over him. He bigger than him. And he, you know, but the white boy being aggressive told him, bro, you don't scare me. And the young brother said, you don't scare me either. You feel what I'm saying? Like, peep game. Fuck out. I'm telling you right now. I'm by myself. Can't the fuck out. I'm running. You're about to go to sleep, like. You hear what he said? I'm by myself. And I ain't running. My man stood his ground. My man is a young warrior. You see what I'm saying? Young king shit. Yo, I, I love to see this. And, and again, peep. White boy. Other white boy got the pistol hanging out of his back pocket. You know what I mean? So that's, that's the intimidation factor. You know what I mean? On another level. Right. But I promise you, I promise if I go to sleep, I'll wake up and go get every motherfucking black. So, so the white boy just threatened him, talking about he gonna put him to sleep. Now, I'd have took that as a death threat. You know what I mean? I didn't, I, when I heard that, I, you know, it really seemed like to me, he was saying he gonna take him out of here, put him to sleep for good. You know what I mean? But apparently the young brother didn't take it like that because he said when he wake up, he gonna come back with every black person in the town or in the city or wherever they at type shit. So we can clearly see the white boys getting aggressive, threatening, saying threatening type shit. They got the pistol and all that type shit. These is all intimidation factors. And you can see that these motherfuckers can see, can clearly see that the intimidation ain't working. And so it is, I mean, we, we can kind of see how the energy is shifting right now. Let's keep watching. So you're gonna threaten the white boys? Try to steer or touch you. You never touch me. 
Did I ever touch you? you? No, you didn't touch me. Did I ever touch you? Oh, no, and you want to know something? I won't touch you. You want to know why? Because y'all want to touch me, and I know that. You know, if I wanted to touch you, I would. Who's fucking working on my goddamn house? I mean, that's you my guy just little tight? My man said, I won't touch you because I know y'all want to touch me. Yo, the brother, I mean, he he laying it on him, bro. He he, he, he giving him the business. But, but, by, but while also keeping his composure and remaining calm, like he, he teaching him, like he said. At the end of the day, if you don't want to touch me, I don't want to touch you. If you don't want to touch you, why the fuck are you arguing? Why are you yelling at me? Don't you don't 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 the same reason why you yelling at me. Because I'm allowed to yell. I didn't if you yell at me, I yell back. I didn't I'm a man. Anything, I'm not no fucking little boy. The other day, I come out and talk to you. You just pet my dog. Right. And you know that. Everything and have good. I ever hurt your and dog anytime I came over no, here? No, that's what I'm saying. But I did just leave jail, and I'm frustrated. I got feelings. Right. But I can't. You're and I'm allowed to express my feelings okay. how you express yours. Right. But you're probably you got your camera on still? You're probably. Oh, uh, you don't? You're well, it sounds like you should keep it on. Because I'm going to teach y'all something. I, you know, I, you know, I ever put my hands on anybody, I'll teach you first. Don't right. 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 And, and race never back to me because I got two white baby moms. And I got two mixed kids. Race never mattered to me. And it still don't matter. I don't give a fuck if you white, black, purple, Chinese, Japanese. It don't never matter to me. Because a brother is a brother and a sister is a sister. I live under God. Do you live under God? Are you sure? Because I'm his son. Mm. Oh, <laughs> That was cold, the way he... Mm. Man, again, I just want to commend that young brother the way he really dropped gems on them to where though they couldn't really do shit. They couldn't really say shit. You know what I mean, he really just fucked them up and shit on them without even having to really get aggressive at all. My man said, do you live under God? Because I'm his son. Niggas ain't, white boys ain't had shit to say after that. Like that, that shit was pretty cold, man, so... Man, I thought this was an important video to, to react to and look at, man, and post because of just the whole interaction. I mean, in a nutshell, that's a lot of what us brothers deal with in America. You know what I mean? Dealing with these Caucasian dudes and, and you know, dealing with the system of white supremacy. And, uh, you know, I just was real impressed with how he handled himself and just the courage that he had. He didn't back down. He held his ground. I think we can all learn something from that interaction right there, you know, and we can all learn something with the way that young brother carried himself in that situation that could have been pretty dangerous for him, it could have ended up fatal, you know what I'm saying, like I said, we can clearly see this down south somewhere, and uh, again, we know how shit go down down there, man. so yeah, man, that, that was that was pretty deep, and that was, that was a cold interaction, I was, I was proud of that young brother, man. So again, I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, man. I just wanted to make this a quick video. Had to do a reaction to that, man. And uh, yeah, that's that, man. So once again, man, really appreciate each and every last subscriber I have. Um, I don't take none of y'all for granted. I don't take none of the comments for granted. Some of the comments is positive. Some of the comments is negative. I don't take none of that shit personal. YouTube is what it is. I put myself on a you know public platform to be criticized and talked about. And everybody gonna have their opinion, some good, some bad, and I'm okay with that. It is what it is. And so that's what we doing, bro. So once again, gas mask up in this bitch. We headed to a thousand subs, bro. I need y'all to hit that like button so y'all can get in that algorithm. I need y'all to comment. Good, bad, ugly, or indifferent. I just want to engage with you. I need y'all to subscribe. And I need you to share the video and most definitely hit that notification bell so y'all can get notified when I drop new videos. And um, I'm going to say it every video. I need y'all to go to my music page, right? Subscribe. Valley of the Kings with a Z. You feel me? And uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think about the music, man. Good, bad, ugly, man. Whatever it is, if you're rocking with it, let me know. Like, yeah, if you're not rocking with it, think it's lame, let me know. You know what I'm saying? It's what it is. And um, that's that's really my take on that, man. Gas mask once again. Go.